So Vinay, uh, feel free to <coughs> like uh, test uh, to share your screen if needed. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Cool. Yeah, see, that's good. Hello? Yeah, we can see yeah. it. Uh, okay, sure. So, like, when should I start? Yeah, hello. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when should I start? Uh, maybe like just give it one minute. Uh, maybe like sure, first sure. you can start with uh, like uh, introduction and then we can jump into like uh, okay. whatever yeah, sure. demo you, you want us you want to say. Yeah. yeah, okay. So let me give a brief introduction about myself. I am Vena Sidrik. Uh, I am like I have like uh, you know two point two years of experience in blockchain space mostly in EVM based blockchains like Ethereum, Polygon, uh, Neon. And now I have uh, developed like, uh, you know, tra transfer this application to a uh, meter uh, network. And uh, so like I have, uh, I'm like 2021 gra graduate. I have done my bachelor's in information technology. And uh, from one year I've been working in BlueStacks as a full-time oh. employee. <laughs> and uh, this is like my, you know, uh, so, what happened was last weekend, uh, I participated for a Solana, uh, you know, hacker house event. And after that, uh, I thought like I uh, created this one, this uh, product uh, on EVM based, right? So uh, I didn't get any, you know, like anything. I just I was just learning myself and doing some extra thing. There I found out about this uh, like Gitcoin uh, event uh, on Gitcoin uh, about Meter, uh, and I got interested about it. So whatever I'm presenting is like uh, an API service. Okay. So where, uh, so where like you can get different types of game integrated into this API service, and then you can get, uh, you know, like uh, blockchain into the web two games, right? Like mm -hmm. there are so many web two games available, like PUBG, uh, Mario, and these games doesn't have, doesn't have any N NFT based something, right? So whatever I'm presenting here is a service which can implement the blockchain into old games or you know like the games which cannot which are which aren't into blockchain yet mm -hmm. so uh so here is just a small prototype where i've integrated these two games open source game into uh the service backend service uh so uh can i start now the yeah demo? go ahead yeah okay uh yeah is there a noise behind my thing like is there a noise coming no it's pretty okay. clean, yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, so let me start with the this one, play crypto chicken. So let, let me reload and tell you like this is connected on meter test net. And uh, okay, so yeah, so let's play the game. So let, there are two games basically. Uh, one is one is a, a simple like a UI based, and this is like a two point five D crypto chicken game. Okay, like this is an open source game, so. We have just picked it up and integrated in our uh, service. And what it does, like it's just a simple game where you play and uh, improve the score. But when you die, an NFT is created, okay? And that NFT is created on the meter uh, testnet, okay? Mm -hmm. All the, it uploads the metadata uh, and all through the NFT port API onto the file, IPFS protocol, right? The images and all. So where you die, this uh, screenshot is taken where you die and the score is uh, taken there, okay? So here is a link for the meter transaction. Uh, mm -hmm. It will take one to two seconds to load. Yeah, see, uh, so it's here. I minted a token, a, G a CGS token. Token ID is 29. And uh, I have to go. So what about, what should we do with this token? Okay. So, uh, okay. So let the token do it. Yeah. So what happens like on the profile page, all the tokens are displayed. 
and when you click on one token okay and then you have the option to burn it okay you can burn the token to give you some boosters to to allow you more points or something interesting for your next game okay mm -hmm. so what uh, let's see our token see 29 is not loaded uh, it takes some time you know uh, it's an async uh, uh, function running back behind and i got some little time to do all this so yeah so let's burn the 28 token id to number and uh, when i burn it it automatically creates a random number okay and and the booster is activated using that random number so when i go home and when i play the game again here it was uh, perks disabled if you see here it is perks disabled but because i have uh, uh, you know like because i have uh, burned that nft i got a certain booster okay mm -hmm. so we have now a increased speed of 10% and i cannot die okay for like 0. Point, uh, some seconds depending on the percentage okay so see i can just go through it so for dying i need to occasionally go inside so i now i die and now it's okay so like this is the whole prototype like what we are showing here like what uh, we are showing here, like uh, how blockchain can give meaning to nfts how games have like like there are so many games which doesn't have right now like no blockchain inter interactive with them right so here what we can do like we can provide this service and tell them like you know you can use our service and you can play these type of game you can convert it you can integrate your game into meter blockchain and do a uh, crazy stuff because see meter just took seven seconds to load up like a uh, computer transaction it's so far faster than polygon right now as i've been also working on uh, different blockchains i can say and and the second game is symbols it is uh it has sort of the same it has a score multiplier to it okay it has a different functionality but the game but the logic is same like uh, uh an nft is created uh when you die or like the game is over okay so I just play this. It's like a touch-based intuitive game, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. like this. And then, and when I die, okay, uh, minting NFT game over is called. Okay, so uh, NFT will be minted with my score here, two ten. Hit load. So this is just a prototype that I have just printed it to the console now. Yeah, so if I go to its profile, it will tell me like, you know, uh, it will load all the NFTs here. Take some time and then I can do the same, consume that NFT to get the <coughs> multiplier, score mm -hmm. multiplier for my next game. So you have a background, uh, I mean, like backend service that scans the meter blockchain and uh, look for NFTs created by your uh, application or API service. Yeah, it's like a like it's just a contract call. You can uh -huh. say not a main service. Yeah, but we are trying to uh, you know create endpoints for it, like API endpoints where you so uh, uh, you know like uh, have you heard about Unreal Engine, Unity Engine? Mm -hmm. So those engines don't have any extension which allow, uh, you know, blockchain interactivity. You know, like because uh, I I know once uh someone had created something and and an engine, the team, the code developer team, shut it down. The extension was just disregarded from the marketplace because uh, it was too much risky. So here we are trying to tell them like it's an API service where you know like uh players have to go. To the account of the main game from there they have they would have a simple you know like this address they should only give this address and nft would be minted to them okay they don't have to uh, act, uh give a you know call a uh, call to the minting and all like it would be all through a subscription so like it has a big uh, you know like idea behind it mm -hmm. so this is similar like you can yeah, use uh, NFT to upgrade uh, your capability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have burned that NFT and then I get a booster, like sort of. So I didn't get it too. I didn't. Oh. Okay. So that's the same thing. Like when I, uh, so it just activates a 
sort of multiplier actually didn't do it correctly so mm -hmm. okay see i got it multiplier activated eight okay uh, so next time if i do do like if i go to a certain level then it will be higher scores so so now <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, like uh, this uh, this uh, demo is being broadcasted, right? And also recorded. I think among the audience, there are like quite some developers. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you can explain a little bit uh, in more detail on how your API looks like and uh, how people would use it. Okay, uh, so right now, like I don't have our API running, uh -huh. but uh, I'm still working on it. Like, you know, the, all the endpoints and all. So. In near future, I will be working on it, uh, creating this more like for the, like, this is just a prototype. Okay. Uh, -huh. uh so, and in ideation, you know, like, uh, there would be an API for minting. There would be an API for creating a contract for mm -hmm. a collection. There would be API endpoint for, you know, burning, uh, trading like that. Okay. okay. So, so that, so, you know, like it's like an underlying platform. Okay. Like mm -hmm. it's an underlying platform, the API service, uh, for the web two games to get into the web three. You know, like so. What type of point... interface uh, were you providing? Is that like a RESTful API calls? Yes, 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 like... yes. RESTful API calls. Yes, because okay. that's the only thing you can do when there are many types of engine available, right? Mm -hmm. So Unity engine uses uh, C sharp and uh, sorry J JavaScript, and uh, our uh, Unreal engine uses C plus mm plus. -hmm. And there are also uh, these type of game which I just showed you. These are JS based games which uses three JS and all. Uh, there are also Android games, right? They use Java. But all of them have common are RESTful APIs, mm -hmm. RESTful APIs, right? So that over that we can you know uh, create a sort of uh, interface which you, as you call it. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. So, <clears throat> any additional things that you would like to share with the audience uh, about like uh, what you're developing or like your experience about? developing meter like for example are yeah. there any issues that you run into uh, no I, I didn't run into any issues like it was really uh it was a really good good experience because meter is so fast uh i like uh see like i couldn't even get it like uh, like the whole scenario like there is one bigger problem when using this service like you know uh, there is, which is latency lag which mm -hmm. we say right but that is completely minimize due to the meter blockchain it is so fast that the minting just took six seconds like it's fast right the uh that's why so that's why I, like highly encourage people to use meter that's what i can say on my experience while developing this app on meter blockchain got it so for example um if you're like a deploy on meter what kind of things do you think you will be able to for example launch first Will you be launching like some of these like web two games you showed us, or you will be uh, like yeah, okay. launching like more like an API service directly? Uh -huh. So what we'll be launching is an API service, mm -hmm. but uh, that API service before we have to uh, you know like talk to some indie game developers who are willing to accept our service into their games. So we mm -hmm. got two of those game studios like they are really small like in the local areas, mm -hmm. uh, but we're still trying to you know uh, uh, get in touch with more game developers. Uh, mm -hmm. So they can, you know, be able to help us to say like, oh, yeah, this is what it's wrong so that we can fix it, right? This is the APS endpoint, which we don't need. So we will not include it like that things, right? Got it, got it. Great. Uh, Gigi, do you have any questions? He's, he's probably on mute. Let me see if there are any like uh, questions from the audience. By the way, where are you based? Uh, are you based in India? Yeah, in India. Got it.
Uh, I guess I didn't see. Let me just check if there's any questions from YouTube channel. Cool. I think uh, the next uh, participants are uh, like joining. Uh, thanks a lot for like showing us the demo and uh, like, yeah, love what you're doing. And uh, looking forward uh, to see these type of API services uh, running on meter. And uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to us if you have any uh, questions or need any help in the future. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will drop out. Right. Uh, can I drop out the call? Oh uh, yeah, sure. So thanks. So who's the next uh, demo? Um, hello, good day. Hi. So hello. Hi, my name. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to present in the other one that I figure I should be the next one to you since it's my time slot now. Uh, which right? which project uh, are you? The other one. Yeah, yeah the... it should be the next one. Yeah. All right. Yes, please uh, go ahead, yeah. Okay, um, so I'm just going to introduce you to the app first. Um, At the bottom I'm of the screen, you can, yeah, feel free to start sharing the screen. Yeah. Okay, so let me know when you can share my screen. Yeah, I can see I'm it. Okay, so um, basically the other one that is a game that was originated by my friend and I, is a paper and pen game that we used to play with each other. And then when we were trying to transition to Web3, we decided to create it as one of our projects. And then it turned out to be something good. So we decided to um, integrate it to the meta network and see if it could get like adaptation in the meta network. So um, I'm just going to go take us through the game, what it does and how to play it. Mm -hmm. so, um, they don't want that is a play to end decentralized game where players can play DAO tokens. Um, and early adopters are that um, rewarded with 300 DAO tokens to interact with the DAP. And because players are required to spend five DAO tokens for each game. And then players also stand a chance to win more DAO tokens for each round they win. Like it depends on if they win, there are seven trials in the game. If they win on the first trial, they get to win more tokens than if they win on the seventh trial. So, like, it, if you win it higher, you'd, if you win it on the Hello, uh, I think your sound has become silent. Hello, can you hear us? We may have lost the uh, connection with her. Yeah, yeah let's wait them um, to uh, rejoin. Yeah. Hello. Hello.
Hello, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes sorry, I think my network got cut off. No problem, yeah. Yeah, yes. um, so I was saying, can you, okay, did, I'm not sure where I got cut off. Did you, yeah, when I started talking about the, when I came to the about section, when I started talking about the game? Uh, still this page. Okay, Almost okay. at so the end talking... of this page, yeah. Okay, so um, Dead or Wounded is a user-friendly game and doesn't require players to have any technical knowledge as it seeks to improve the adaptation of Web3 and give users the opportunity to earn while having fun. So um, the options, we, we've um, started building it out, but we are not completely done. We still have a lot of um, fixes to go about it because as I said, it's just my partner and I, and we bounce ideas of each other of what we want to do. So we still have like a lot of other ideas to implement it, but I'm just going to show you what we have now. So how yeah, to no play. Four unique random numbers are generated for each game. And the goal is to guess the correct number and correct positions of four of all four numbers. So we have, you are supposed to play four unique numbers from mm -hmm. zero to nine. And then you you enter the four unique numbers, click play or hit enter to your um, keyboard to admit it. And then the number is considered to be wounded if it's part of the sequence but in the wrong position. And it's considered to be dead if it's part of the sequence and is in the right position. And then you have to get all the numbers correctly in seven trials to win. Seven trials or less to win. So um, first thing first, I'm going to connect my wallet. I am on the meta network right now. So I'm just going to connect my wallet then. I'm not sure if the process of my wallet connection is showing because I'm only sharing this screen, but I just connected my wallet and then I have to start the game. If I'm a new user and I don't have any DAO tokens, I can just come here to claim. We are giving out 300 DAO tokens for users to start interacting with the game. So here um, I can just start the game and then it makes a call to the backend to um, generate the numbers because we are generating the random numbers on chain. So it's still loading. So you are using some data from the blockchain to generate the random numbers? We may have lost her again, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The screen was moving for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what is wrong with my network. It keeps. No problem. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Are you from Africa? Yes, I am from Africa. Yeah, I guess the, the network is not that stable. Yes. Oops. I think maybe. Maybe we should try once again, and then uh, if uh, it isn't possible to live stream this, we could uh, record the video and then uh, hire it in a second moment. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like uh, people, yeah. we can actually play around the, the, uh, the demo. Yeah, Hello. it's... I, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. I think uh, if uh, we have problem, oh. yeah, if we have problem sharing the screen, maybe just uh, like uh, Sorry? just exp if you have problem sharing the screen, uh, maybe just uh, talk through it, and uh, I think we can like go to the uh, the game demo uh, directly and uh, test it out ourselves. Okay, Mia, you should do that. Yeah, uh, so could, you, you, could you share the link? 
Uh, I will share it in the YouTube channel as well and have uh, the community okay. member also play around with it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I've shared okay. the link over the chat. Yeah. I see it now. Let me just uh, share it in the YouTube channel. Okay. Are you going to share your screen while we are playing so we can all see? Okay, sorry, I got caught for a second. I'll be sharing my screen right away. Oh, okay. All right, um, should I just continue sharing my screen because it's already going here? Sure. I think yeah, network maybe. has become a little yeah, go ahead. stable. Go ahead. Okay. So um the no random number just got generated. From after the, the loader is there to process the um, transaction because you know um, transactions on the blockchain take a little bit of time. So basically, what we have here is um, a dashboard. So this is this attempt part is going to log your attempt and then it's also going to log your scores because um, okay, let me start playing so you can see what I'm saying. One two three zero one two three. So I played my first trial. So on my first attempt, zero one two three, I got zero dead, three wounded. Dead is if it's in the right place, is even in the right place and the wrong position. Wounded indicates if the numbers are in the wrong, is are in the wrong position, but are got it, got it. So yeah. this is like so, uh, those puzzle games. Uh, yes. You, so, you try to guess uh, the numbers and their location. Yeah, it's not it's mm -hmm. not just guessing because there is a lot of technical thinking too. They could be a if you study the numbers, like you study the output of what you're getting, mm -hmm. it's possible to, to deduce the numbers by yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's going to, um, so we think of this platform as something that we can develop to be like a platform where we can make it multiplayer or we can have users um, come and stake DAO tokens for like to win other users. Like if I, if I finish my game and I win in the third trial because of how technical it is, it's easy to do. It seems very simple, but it's quite technical. So, and then it's also very fair. Because the numbers are generated and blockchain, and nobody has nobody's tampering with anything. So if I win mine in the third trial, someone can come and raise me or a bet that I can win my, no, maybe not like a bet, but a stick that I can win this another round in like fewer trials, maybe in two trials. And if it wins, they can um, get they would it would get the stick or whatever they stick on it together. And also, we're also thinking of um, increasing or reducing the difficulty level for players because sometimes it could be a little bit hard trying to guess the numbers. Right now, I'm not trying to think through the numbers. I'm just showing you how it gets played. And also, you cannot um, put the same number twice. It's going to give you an error. So you have to make sure they are all unique numbers. Okay. So you have to make sure they are all unique numbers. Okay. Let me just try to do this. Since we only have a few oh, minutes left, uh, maybe you can give a quick intro about uh, your team. Oh, okay. My team consists of myself and um, my partner on the call, Abdul Rashid. So, um, basically, we built this project. I think I already said the history of the project already. 
And then we have plans for it that goes beyond just now. And we're seeking for adaptation on the meter network so that we can also like improve on it and make it a um, make it a, a, an official game that people can come on your platform to come and play. And then mm -hmm. it can also include adaptation because people, once they know they have a chance of winning, like if we're able to, um, once we host it on Light Network and we're able to like pump enough liquidity into the DAO tokens, people would not want to come and trade or would want to come and play the game with hopes of winning some more DAO, which can also, in the long run, which can promote activity on the blockchain. That's great. Uh, how yeah. long have you guys uh, been developing for uh, blockchain applications? Um, we've been developing since the beginning of the year, but we just we started building DOW like um, April. Yeah, we started building DOW April. But we started um, developing blockchain applications because we both just transitioned into Web3. So we started developing blockchain applications since January. Got it, got it. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot uh, for giving the demo, and uh, yeah. yeah I, and looking forward to, to see your applications running on Meter. Please uh, do not hesitate to let us know uh, if uh, you need any help from us. And uh, I guess the, the next uh, uh, participant is uh, coming in as well. And uh, yeah, thank you for giving the demo. <coughs> and uh, yeah. All right, you're welcome. Thank you for listening. Thank you. All right, do you have any questions? Uh, I think uh, we we already asked uh, the questions just now, and uh, we can follow up uh, later. Yeah, since the time okay. is up. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Are we supposed to leave the call now? Uh, you can stay if you want to listen to other projects, but yeah, okay. just keep on mute. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess the uh, the next uh, submitter is already in. So who will be giving the demo? I I think it's my turn. Oh hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Thank you for joining. All right. Um. So a quick intro. I'm Pran. I'm based in Dubai. Um. So I took part in the uh, Get Up Rollathon. Um. So I was exploring through different challenges and one idea. So I'm also teaching at different places at uh, like Web3 and Zero Knowledge Proof. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I had this idea of making a learning app based on um, maybe people can answer some questions and they can earn some tokens. So I implemented that idea as a POC. Um, so this demo is regarding that. Um, Great. So let me share my screen. Uh, you can see my screen, right? Uh, yes, I can see your screen. And also, yeah. Uh, what you can see right now? Oh, I can, you can see, see the, the app? App, uh, web app. All right, all right. The name is not finalized yet. I'm just uh, experimenting with different names, but I would like to pursue this uh, idea long term. Um, so the idea is, of course, I already told you. Uh, so users will have the ability to submit some uh, questionnaires. They can create quiz, and other users who wants to who wants to learn um, solidity and uh, other concepts, so they can attempt those quizzes. And there will be like learning material as well. At the moment, there's there's no learning material, but uh, just to give a brief. Uh, Walk through of the app. So let me just connect my wallet. So I'm already on the meter network. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm connected to testnet. So here, so far storing the questions and everything I'm using IPFS. Um, so here people can create quizzes. So at the moment I fixed the length to four. Uh, they can add questions, they can add mm -hmm. options. But for the quick demo, uh, let me choose an existing one for from the CID, so it will pre-populate um, the quiz because I've already created the CID before for the quick demo. Mm -hmm. So in this case, so this is the quiz which is there. 
uh, let me just put in a title um, theme new. So once I hit create, uh, of course, it will uh, create the new IPFS ID and then it will create a quiz on the smart contract, which is there at the back end. So let me just quickly hit create. All right, so now it's gonna create a quiz in the smart contract. And once a quiz is created, so, so the idea would be that the user who's creating the quiz will have the option to set rewards for the quiz and also when to end the quiz and when to start the quiz. So once the transaction is confirmed, uh, I'll show you the, okay, I'm not sure. Is it confirmed or not? Okay. Um, so yeah, um, so this, this is the one I created just now. Um, so once I hit manage, uh, it will fetch the data from IPFS, it's a bit slow. So here user can re-edit the quiz before like submitting for um, submitting for actually uh, it, like allowing people to answer the quiz. And here it, he can uh, set rewards. So for example, so right now the reward model is kind of static, uh, but the idea is to um, make it more dynamic as for the number of participants per quiz mm -hmm. and then the reward available for that quiz. And here is- So the right now the- uh... The reward is what is like internal points, or this is like a ERC twenty token, or what do you? No, use so right now the reward is, yeah, reward is native currency, so it's gonna give you meter. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> um, so I was trying to avoid uh, tokens at the moment. So mm -hmm. let me just set the end time after two minutes so that I can show you the um, in full flow. Um, got it. Okay. So once this is confirmed, so the quiz will be available in the uh, on section. Uh, so for example, here, the quiz which I created, it's now available. So I created the quiz, I cannot attempt the quiz. So I'll have to change the account to, mm -hmm. um, so I can connect, I go to earn. So here, so here it's my previous quiz I attempted. So I, I claim see. my reward. <clears throat> Um, so here I can just quickly maybe attend. Um, so this one is currently like I show all the questions at once and I don't even ask for, I don't have a timer for the quiz. Uh, might have to do that in case we get like huge amount of users because mm -hmm. then um, the token dynamics, I'm not sure how it's gonna be, but I will think about it so that uh, we don't run out of money. There has to be some incentive <laughs> yeah. for with the parties. Um, so, all right, so, so this is confirmed. Or maybe you can do like an NFT type of thing. Yeah, we actually nah, were thinking um, about like uh, running some like quizzes uh, like in uh, Discord channels, things like that. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, I will just come to that later. So here, once the quiz is submit, submitted, so here we can see waiting for results. Now I'll go back to the different account who created mm -hmm. the quiz. Now he will have an option to, um, he will have an option to close the quiz. So right now he can do anything because we still have timer. I haven't implemented that. So one second, manage. Okay, now he can provide the answers to the quiz and um, yeah. And once the answers are provided, so other users will go to their like the quiz uh, uh, quiz menu, they will see how much they have earned or eligible to earn. So in this case, um, let me just put all as A. Oh, so even the answers are in the smart uh, in the smart contracts. Yeah, so answer will be submitted once the quiz ends in the smart contract. But um, I was thinking like this is for the since uh, hackathon purpose, but like in the long run, I was thinking to use zero knowledge proofs and not sure like it's gonna be, it should be scalable. So it it has to be not dependent on the person who created the quiz. Cause if I use ZKP, then it will be dependent on the person who created the quiz. Um, <clears throat> right, so let me, 
switch back to to different user. Um, all right, so here I get my score, and for each score, I was giving like 0.1 meter, and so here I can redeem my rewards. Um, and that's it for the demo. Like once the rewards are redeemed, it's done, but anyone can create quizzes and all the things. Uh, but this is like an initial idea. I would like to improvise like once I ready, like once I'm really ready to um, do it for the main net. Got it, got it. Yeah, I mean, just a, a, like a few, because uh, we have been like thinking about running similar campaigns before as well, right? Just uh, some like uh, uh, features that will help us uh, is for example, uh, we can run these type of uh, like quizzes, and then uh, there may be a, like a lot of people submitting answers, right? You can probably like uh, do a random drawing of uh, let's say <clears throat> preset number of uh, like uh, winners. Let's say if hundred people get it right, you can draw like uh, ten people out of it and getting the the prize. And also, yeah, the price uh, will be great to, to have some other options as well, like NFTs, uh, things like that. In that case, right. we can uh, probably even like start using it uh, in our like social channels as well as some of the uh, like user engagement campaign uh, methodologies. Yeah. And and. Um... I had this question. So uh, for for randomness, I'm not sure. Do you guys have what do you guys have? Do you have integration with Chainlink or no? Uh, <laughs> we're having launching the uh, integration with the band, uh, probably in the next week or two. Uh, but like, uh, what is it? Use uh, some of the uh, like uh, on chain like parameters, things like that. Because if the price is like small price. I mean, no one will have incentive to attack the blockchain. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um. So, what's the what's the thing? What you said for the randomness? Oh, uh, sometimes you can use, for example, like uh, the the hashes of uh, the uh, the the blocks. Certain blockades, right? Once uh, you have a like timer, you can say like no, no. Certain... Uh, I'm, I'm no. When I said chain link, you said you are in. Oh yeah, we're like we're that. like uh, bring up uh, band protocol. Band protocol. Yeah, and also Witnet is probably like sometime in June as well. Chainlink, uh, we already done the integration, but uh, they have a, a schedule that we don't know exactly when they will launch it. All right. Any other any other feedback on the idea? And um, do do you think I should make a token out of it or? Because I believe if I keep it like native currency, that then the the blockchain itself will have more value. Because if I create another yeah, token, yeah, I think you know it will be it will be great to have a to have an option. For example, uh, if the like uh, the creator of the quiz, because you want to create a, like a platform that a lot of people can use it, right? For example, if uh, some other project want to create uh, some user engagement uh, quizzes, they can use their own project token. So make it uh, flexible to be like native token, ERC-20, and NFTs. All right, all right. Yeah, those will be like useful. And uh, and 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 what what else? I'm just curious, like because uh, I uh, need to. Yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, it. Make it uh, like a public uh, platform that anyone can create uh, quizzes. And uh, also, they can like uh, launch a campaign um, to basically promote yeah. the, their quiz. I mean, like their project, because uh, this is more like a, a useful tool for like user engagement and promote uh, a project, right? Are Are you familiar with uh, Coinbase uh, and program? Coinbase, no. I mean, I mean, yeah, they basically with... there's a earn.com. Yeah, yeah. They basically have uh, an uh, earn program uh, that uh, works uh, similar to what you're doing, but obviously in a centralized uh, way. So I think that uh, they already proved uh, 
uh, that uh, this is a good concept uh, for uh, increasing uh, knowledge about uh, every project uh, in the general uh, crypto user base. And uh, I think that uh, if you follow that model, but uh, do it in a decentralized way, so offering uh, um, custom tokens as a reward, if uh, I don't know if, uh, for example, we wanted to run uh, um, a quiz about vault swap, uh, we could offer a vault as a reward, or uh, if uh, even an external project wanted uh, to run uh, uh, a campaign on, uh, on your platform, it could be great if they could uh, offer their own token. And uh, yeah, I think this is basically it. And uh, the program on Coinbase uh, has actually been uh, fairly uh, successful, I would say. It's been yeah. running uh, since- And also I think a business or, model yeah. was you can like charge a small percentage. Yeah, as yeah, a, like, exactly. I, I don't think you, you need yeah. a token. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least initially, you can avoid a token if you want to. And uh, I think it would be actually the, the best be a, model. Like, pretty to useful tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, so, so uh, on the meter blockchain, like, well, what's the scene? Like, oh, how much TVL do we have, and how many DApps are there currently running? Uh, um, there are I quite some about project uh, coming, and uh, I think a lot of them have similar uh, requirement uh, to like build the initial community and uh, like uh, direct people into their channel, things like that. I think this will be like uh, an interesting tool for these new pro uh, for these new projects. Yeah, we're still at the early phase that uh, like there are still many uh, empty places for different uh, like existing dApps to, to migrate. Okay, okay. And uh... Regarding like, uh, so the company is based where? Oh, I mean, like it's a layer one blockchain, right? We don't really have a company, but like a lot of uh, core development team is in uh, in the Silicon Valley. But oh, like, okay. we are have people spreading out in different places. Like Gigi is in Italy, for example. <clears throat> yep. All right, all right. Cool. Um, and, uh, okay, that's it from my side, yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot uh, for like, giving the demo. I think uh, also time is uh, up for the next uh, project as well. Yeah. All right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. So who is the next project? Hello. Hi. Uh, I built the Sablair fork. Okay, like yeah, sure, go ahead, yeah. Okay, okay, I also yeah. prepared a little presentation. It's just a few pictures, actually. Sure. Okay. You can share your screen. So I'm sharing my screen. <clears throat> so, so here's Bob. He works at a local coffee bar in El Salvador. He gets paid at the end of every month. Bob lives payday to payday and always, always spends almost all of his money before his next payday comes. Here is Jane. She's a freelancer designer who focuses on logos. There were times when she had bad clients and haven't got paid for her work and times where she received her payment late. And here's Chad. He runs a successful real estate company with over 20 employees. He makes sure everyone gets paid by personally handling paying his employees. They could all benefit from money streaming. But what is money streaming, you might ask? Uh, just like you can stream music on Spotify or UVs on Netflix, you can stream digital money on Lightning Stream or other money streaming protocols. Instead of a one-time payment, it's continues, so every second you can send or receive money. So back to our people. Bob could spend his money when he earns it, so he always has money to spend and doesn't have to wait for his payday. Jane could ensure she gets paid on time, and Chad could make it easier paying his employees. 
So he, here is the app. Let's let's just connect our wallet. MetaMask will ask us to confirm. And here we are. Uh, it's on testnet for Instax. Mm -hmm. And here we can search for a stream ID, and here we can create a new stream. Let's just, uh, I will show you how to. This is just a regular stream. Um, let's just create a new stream. So we, we need an address to stream to. Let's just find So the address one. is uh, like uh, the recipient of the payment? Uh, yes, yes, the recipient. Mm -hmm. And we want to stream this much. We want the stream to end like from 10 minutes from now. And MetaMask will ask us to give permission to the meter. And soon it will ask us to permission to create a stream. So waiting for the transaction to get mined. Mm -hmm. So um, this basically assumes uh, the like, uh, it's just uh, like uh, a payment that will happen over time, right? It, there's no yes, way, yes. for example, for the sender to stop the, uh, the payment, uh, like in the middle of the uh, streaming process, right? Mm, yes, yes. Got it. So, yeah, our stream ID is created. And if we wait just a bit, the app will redirect us to the stream page. And here we are, the stream will uh, start soon. We have to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here is the sender, us. Here is the recipient who we sent it to. And he here will be the total amount that is streamed by the sender. Mm -hmm. And here will be the withdrawable amount that is uh, can that the recipient can withdraw. I see. So the recipient can like uh, withdraw uh, at any time. That uh, yes, the yes, withdrawable yes. amount. Basically. Yes, I will show you. Okay. I just have to connect with the recipient account. Mm -hmm. So initiating withdrawal. Confirm. Okay, I will show you. Here we have 1,093 meter. And if we wait just a bit, we will have five more, I think, yes. And if you want to withdraw again, mm -hmm. we can do just that. And withdrawing four meter. So if we wait just a bit, we will have uh, Four more. <laughs> so a few use cases. If you are a freelancer, you can start to receive your payment. When you start working, instead of getting paid when you are finished, or you could allocate funds to help your family members. Let's say you have children, you can pay them over time so they don't have spend all that money at once. Really um, anything involving money and paying someone regularly could be done with a continuous payment. Got it. So, yeah. Mm, that's really it. <laughs> well, for example, if uh, like, uh, let's say uh, the freelancer didn't deliver the work, there's no way to stop the payment either, right? So it's more like, uh, a committed, uh, uh, it's probably not uh, the but, pay by uh, milestone. It's like more a committed payment, uh, but pay over time, those applications. Yes, but well, there is a, if you, you can actually cancel the payment, but then, then the withdrawal amount goes to the recipient, and mm -hmm. uh, total and uh, not redeemable that the deposit goes back to the sender. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. So, for example, if someone quit, then the sender can actually stop the rest of the payment. Yes, yes, stop the rest of the payment. 
-hmm. But the withdrawable I'm Yeah, the withdrawable is already that. like uh, available. Yeah, those cannot yeah, be yeah. canceled. Okay, yeah. that's good. Uh, <clears throat> so for example, let's... Yeah, so he, he, here I'm the sender, if I click on cancel, confirm, canceling stream, if we wait just a bit for and the dashboard will display a different UI, successfully cancel stream. If we, for example, search for this stream again, then we can't access it anymore. Got it. So yeah, that's that's really it. <laughs> and uh, later, I want to add. So when you log in with an account, you can see here All your the streams, streams available but, to you. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. But right great. now, you 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 have to search for it manually. So uh -huh. that's not that easy user experience. But yeah. I'm working on but uh, the stream ID is it uh, stored uh, in your contract or it's uh, stored uh, somewhere else? It's stored in the contract. Oh, okay. So every time you create a stream, the contract adds just one more to the stream ID. Uh, Got it. So the contract we actually should have interface uh, to like enumerate uh, all the stream ID. In one in a particular account, right? Yes, yes, I think yes. Yeah. So yeah, you should be able to. Like, yeah, yeah. I, use I have to for le that. learn more. I have to learn GraphQL for that. <laughs> no, but, like yeah. uh, if uh, it's already stored uh, in the contract, you don't even need to use the GraphQL. You should be able to just uh, query the contract interface. Oh. For example, like uh, like uh, let's say compound, right? Like you can actually query like uh, all the balance, all the uh, uh, debt in one particular account. I believe uh, this contract uh, should have uh, similar uh, capabilities. You probably just need That's to- That's cool, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah, in that case, you don't need to have a backend. You just need to have a front end to uh, query the like, blockchain. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. So. Mm, yeah, maybe yeah, like a, dig a little bit deeper in that uh, contract. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. And also, like, uh, since we still have uh, five minutes left, maybe you can give an introduction about yourself. Oh, introduction for myself. Yeah, or like uh, you have a team or. Just yourself, it's fine, yeah. Uh, for example? <laughs> no, like, uh, just like uh, your background, uh, how long have you been working uh, for like blockchain development? What you're passionate about, things like that. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm working on hackathons, like, wait, I started working on hackathons like three months ago. Mm -hmm. Before that, for like, I think it's been a year that I know that I want to be a blockchain developer, or, or I mean, I want to work in crypto. But first, I wanted to learn front end. So I kind of learned for front end for nine months. Mm -hmm. So I, I can, because I thought I can build on front end with blockchain uh, stuff. Mm. Yeah. I'm passionate about crypto and stuff, <laughs> but it's kind of hard to um, explain myself. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, to... Let me just see if anyone have questions. Uh... Yeah, I actually have a question. So Sablier is uh, allowing for uh, uh, various projects or teams to add uh, their own tokens to their platform to allow for uh, payment streams in their own token. Uh, do mm -hmm. you plan to like uh, integrate uh, a, a list of tokens or uh, just uh, do it permissionless so everybody can add uh, their own token? Mm, I haven't thought about that, but that would be a cool idea if everyone could add their token. 
maybe. So right now the list but, of tokens uh, is uh, set by configurations. You have to configure it uh, in your like, yeah, in the yeah, I have to go it manually. I thought I would when deploying to mainnet, I would configure it manually by adding USDC, USDT, uh, like the popular tokens. Yeah. And BTC. yeah. <clears throat> But I guess, yeah, they will be probably well, yeah, interested in making their own tokens as well. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe later. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So back to my surface. I don't know. I just want to be a really good developer working uh -huh. in crypto. <laughs> Nice. But I, I'm not that great at the social stuff, like mm, presentation or talking. <laughs> no problem. No yeah, problem. you are doing good at all. Yeah. You're doing ah, this is yeah. a, like a useful tool for the uh, community. Ah, thank you. Yeah, thank you absolutely. So I love it. Great. Yeah, thanks a lot so we... uh, for giving the demo. And uh, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. So I stop sharing. Yeah, that's fine. I think the who's the next project? Uh, oh, they are joining right now. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Hi. Uh, so hello, are you the, Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, Feel free so, to start. Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, so can I uh, share my screen? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Let's wait a second. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Uh, Hello, uh, my name is uh, Wukash and my nickname is uh, El Tumero. Uh, I am uh, here with my uh, co-worker Jerzy and his uh, name is uh, Tiver. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's talk uh, about the uh, uh, general uh, concept of our game. Uh, Tiver, could you present a general aspect of our game, please? Yeah, sure. So the concept, okay. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Jerzy, and I'm responsible mainly for the front-end side of our project with Wukash. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I want to mention that the project itself is still in progress, and the game will be receiving consistent quality of life <clears throat> updates. Um, we also want to make sure we're giving the players a solid, reliable um, starter, so they can get like the most out of it. Um, the game itself is a pixel art-based sandbox. Um, run on our custom made game engine and we want to make we want to keep it simple so anyone can connect their wallet and join our community and then build stuff or like chat with people make some pixel art and sell it and much more so yeah okay uh, so thank you uh, uh, okay uh, here we uh, will present current state of our uh, mm -hmm. the app uh, we record a short demo, uh, which uh, which summary of what uh, we did during the hackathon. Uh, I will describe everything what we have done here. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have uh, here a uh, big play button, which I uh, play but play, play now button, which I think uh, we will really encourage new players <laughs> to click it. <laughs> and yeah, scrolling down, we have uh, something who I might call a brief introduction to our project. We talk here about the uh, usage of, uh, of NFTs in our game, and uh, I give, we give uh, some uh, keywords to arouse uh, the interests. And yeah, here, here we have a marketplace, uh, a banner uh, for um, our upcoming marketplace. Uh, uh, here are the sprite sheets, uh, which highlighting uh, diversity and freedom of our future players, uh, because you can create any custom skin you ever, you ever wanted. And yeah, mm, next. Uh, Let's, uh, yeah, here, here we have a um, template of our texture marketplace, uh, how it will look like in the future. Uh, for now, it's not, not functional, but uh, as, you, you can, as you can see, uh, it's, an, it's a two uh, mm -hmm. items here, uh, it, but it will be uh, operational uh, in their future. 
And yeah, uh, next we have uh, read more uh, tab. And here are some some info about uh, more info about project. And yeah, uh, let's uh, let's uh, connect the wallet. Yeah, well here we have a, a temporary uh, <laughs> uh, user interface. Uh, but first, connect our wallet. Yeah, here is a MetaMask. Uh, we connect our wallet. Yeah, and uh, next we click play, and we have a uh, we say we have signing uh, of transaction, and uh, it's uh, it's here uh, and signing uh, work uh, and uh, logging uh, to our the app works like that. Uh, mm -hmm. First client said get request to our backend server. Uh, backend server uh, response with uh, uh, with hashed secret uh, phrase to sign. Uh, then in MetaMask uh, we uh, we signed that, and then uh, we sent clients set post request to dig with digital signature to our backend server, and if signature is valid, uh, server creates a session for player. Uh, okay, mm. yeah, uh, and back to it. Uh, yeah, here we have a player, and yeah, uh, after uh, after we uh, authorized, uh, we can enter the game. And here is our game. Uh, for now, it's a with the, we have default skin, but it's uh, how it uh, looks like. And uh, next, uh, we have next part is adding a custom sprite sheet. Uh, here we have panel uh, for our sprite sheet, and here we uh, write a name of our uh, of our sprite sheet for player. And then I choose a file. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a green. I call it green guy. Yeah, before I submit, uh, I need to uh, connect to uh, connect my wallet, and then I click submit. Uh, and out under the hood, uh, I need to uh, it uh, it sends the image to our backend server, and then uh, and then it's uh, uh, then it's uh, uh, it in on backend server it's uh, it, it sent. We send it uh, to IPFS uh, via uh, Pinata SDK. S so we need uh, some uh, some time to uh, to wait uh, while it upload to uh, to uh, IPFS. And when it it upload uh, it, it is uploaded, uh, we receive an uh, an content ID uh, with and we can mint our NFT. Uh, we must uh, wait uh, some time uh, for transaction to, uh, to be finalized and and then. Uh, yeah, we connect wallet. Yeah, and yeah, here we have uh, our uh, our guy, but we must uh, wait a couple of seconds. And yeah, here it is our uh, new custom sprite sheet. Uh, it's our NFT. Yeah. Uh, so, we, and uh, last, I want to show you a multiplayer demo. Here I connect with uh, Tiver, uh, my friend. And yeah, here's operation, operational chat, and uh, we can move across the uh, yeah, waiting for response. Yeah, hello. And here we can uh, move uh, through the map uh, easily. Yeah, he, he teleports he, because he entered the portal. Yeah, and so everything works as it, as it should. Uh, and for now, it's a uh, it, for now, it's a chat room uh, where you can move your custom player and meet with and talk with uh, other friends. But for us, it's just a beginning uh, because we want uh, to talk about uh, plans for our newest future. And yeah, uh, we, we want to create an SQU token, uh, which will be essence of our game uh, and uh, will create economy in virtual world. Here I present a general diagram of our tokenomics uh, will look like. Uh, so yeah, uh, starting with an airdrop uh, uh, and as an initiative, uh, we would like to perform a free airdrop for our uh, of our tokens to uh, 1,500 users. Make it, it free, uh, I think can be very attractive to new users because uh, there, here's uh, no risk included. Uh, uh, eventually we might perform uh, IDO uh, uh, with uh, uh, rice, uh, uh, with uh, uh, money, uh, uh, with, with collecting money to give our uh, token uh, more value. But for now we are staying with a free option. Uh, Next part is a minting sprite sheet. Uh, this uh, this uh, current part is uh, now, is implemented now, uh, as we saw uh, earlier. Yeah, sprite sheet represents your character in game. Uh, currently, we support uh, uh, in size like uh, specified here. Uh, 
they tend to, uh, they uh, will be uh, it will be possible to uh, sell it on our marketplace and images uh, are stored uh, in IPFS. Uh, next, we have a very uh, very interesting part of it uh, because uh, here we will be having a, a minting a sprite sheet and it will be a, uh, it will be an, uh, managed by uh, two contract and you will be uh, able to meet any texture you want uh, to use it in game uh, in size 32 by 32 pixels and will be used to build on user uh, personal plot uh, users will be uh, have uh, plots where you there, there will be uh, they there uh, where they will uh, have a uh, have possibility to uh, build uh, with custom textures create, created by players. Uh, important part is uh, that uh, the as a creator, you will, uh, you will be receiving a fee every time while somebody is using uh, your textures. Uh, textures creators will be receiving SQ tokens for sharing their um, textures. It will be managed by uh, this texture contract. And texture contract, uh, text, texture assets contract uh, is for linking tokens with metadata, metadata on IPFS. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, plots con plots contract uh, for uh, for uh, plots which I uh, described earlier. Uh, players plots, and uh, mm, uh, it will be a little bit modified because uh, this ARC721 will be will have a changeable uh, a token URI uh, by owner. Uh, and uh, via upcoming plot editor, user will be able to edit content of their plots. Uh, oh, and uh, here we have uh, uh, how it will look like uh, like uh, JSON on uh, how will uh, how the um, a JSON file uh, with metadata of uh, current uh, plot will look like. Uh, so we have uh, ID of block and coordinates and uh, yeah and other stuff. So each Colliders. square on your map is a, a plot. Uh, sorry. So you have a map. Just now you showed it's empty, right? So yeah. each each uh, square on the map. It's like one of these uh, like uh, uh, like every uh, plot like uh, you as I said I as, as I saw uh, as I uh, show uh, mm -hmm. in uh, in demo uh, every, every player will be uh, uh, will will have a, a possibility to own that uh, this kind of area uh, it will mm -hmm. be 30 by 30 block uh, blocks and it, it will be uh, and the player uh, will be available uh, will be uh, will have possibility to uh, build on it and uh, share and uh, sell it, sell it uh, in future. Like uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it is his sandbox. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, as I saw, and here is like, uh, I have first map uh, somewhere here. Oh, here's this first map and, uh, uh, and this JSON file, which is uh, here is a representation of this map. And uh, with this JSON, uh, you can load this map uh, uh, to display uh, by engine, and mm -hmm. uh, it worked like that. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's so like the, a, as a user supposed it, to edit this JSON file. No, no, uh, they will. Uh, they will have an editor, a uh, plot uh -huh. editor, which will generate <clears throat> this. Uh, they will uh, uh, click by mouse on okay. uh, on edi in editor, and uh, it and, and JSON file will be generated, and it will be converted. Uh, uh, will be sent to IPFS, and uh, the content ID will be uh, uh, an uh, an IP and uh, URI to uh, URL uh, to um, IPFS will be a token uh, mm -hmm. in this plot contract. Go okay. Uh, is it good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And uh, for the last, I have a voting contract, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, gives SQU token uh, governance functions. Uh, owners of uh, SQU token will be able to vote on development of our game, uh, and as a developer, you can contribute on GitHub uh, to our project and put to put to the vote uh, your fix or suggestion. And also, if you are not coding, you can specify the problem and put it uh, up to vote uh, too. Uh, if specify, uh, if specified issue uh, is voted positively, it will be uh, fixed in uh, next potential update. So it's uh, nice, uh, nice to have because uh, uh, give community more, 
more uh, more more power to decide uh, what is uh, actually in game. Um, so yeah, uh, and here we have uh, some screens because after uh, uh, we uh, the developing our game, we add a new new UI uh, to be more clear. Uh, here are, we have uh, before and after. Uh, yeah, we're constantly uh, working on our project. Cool. Uh, and what else? Uh, uh, we also want to still uh, working on improving our game engine because it's uh, it is uh, it's not perfect still, but it's 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 nice. Uh, we work uh, our uh, we will be working on our on our front end and the UI to be as friendly as uh, possible for uh, end user. Mm -hmm. uh, we are cre create create will create. Uh, community channels on Discord and Twitter to, uh, to connect our players more. And also in, uh, in further future, we want to host our pro, pro project on more chains, mm -hmm. more, more chains. Uh, but for now, uh, we are concentrating on Meteor.io. Yeah. And uh, for, the, for the end, I would like to say that we hope that our game will become a significant uh, part of uh, Meteor.io blockchain ecosystem. And very 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 thank you very much uh, for your time yeah thanks a lot for giving us a demo yeah thank it's you really interesting thank you very much yeah and initially i actually didn't uh, understand how to play it but after you explain uh it all makes sense now yeah yeah okay. i just wanted to add real quick somebody asked on the youtube live stream uh, if we can interact with the plots, yeah, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be possible in the future, and it's gonna you're gonna have like a graphical interface. So when you come to someone's plot and you see like a nice looking block, for example, you will be able to click on it and simply like see the block ID, uh, the name of it, and you can like check it on the <clears throat> on the marketplace, and maybe you can consider um, borrowing it or lending it or even buying it if you really like it. So yeah, yeah. Actually, I would uh, highly encourage you uh, to uh, have some conversation with the business builder, and <clears throat> he he has been building like a very interesting like city building <clears throat> game as well. And there's maybe like some uh, infrastructure you guys can like discuss and see if uh, there's probably possibilities to leverage on each other's work. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, thanks a lot uh, for for giving us a demo, and uh, let us know like if there's anything we can do to help you guys uh, in the future. Uh, okay. I think uh, time is up for the next uh, demo. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 <coughs> so who <coughs> who will be the next one? It should be Ilio with uh, Meter Quest. Yeah, Ilio, right? I believe he's yeah. already in the channel. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Ilio, are you there? Feel free to start. Uh, yeah, sure. Just share my screen. Is it visible? Uh, yeah, now it's visible. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, for the hackathon, we've built two games. Um, one is an RPG story based game. And it's built on Phaser. And the other one is a stake and earn game, wherein you stake some tokens. And in the end, if you win, you get a double reward of that. And we, were, we are also building a marketplace for the game, wherein like we can buy and sell the NFT characters for uh, for the game. So yeah, the game, uh, it's built on a JavaScript primitive HTML5 based game engine so the the game that we're building for the future will be based on unity so in this game, yeah so in this game you have to collect the chests and every time you collect a chest you get some erc20 token in rewards so we have a token called as the dungeon token 
which would be mostly used for crafting new items and getting rewards out of the game. What we've built for the hackathon is like we have created, uh, we trigger the meta mask every time you collect a chest. But what we are building now currently is we will be distributing rewards as soon as you finish the game. So we are writing the smart contracts in that way. Um, yeah, so in this level, like um, there are different locked doors, and in order to get to the locked door, you need to find the key. So here, uh, there, there's a there's a mysterious uh, wizard who is hidden, and you need to get the key from him. The player basically has three lives, and if you uh, if, if you collide with him, then you lose one life. So if if you lose all your lives, whatever you have uh obviously you earn on the blockchain but you're not able to get to the final level pass nft so i've gotten the key and i need to open the token gate uh we can we can see that in the uh in the activity we have the reward uh function which is called and we have the dungeon token so every time you collect a chest you get minted like four dungeon tokens and here is the final evil angel which you have to kill uh, in order to pass the level so you can see that this door is locked and in order to open it we need to get the key from the evil angel so we have to kill this demon get the key we can collect the other chests uh, as well and as soon as you get the key you can open the door and this basically means you an NFT, but uh, it is not programmed for now. Uh, but we want every time you mint an NFT, that NFT would act as a proof of uh, acceptance for that uh, particular level. And you would next time you would like log into the game, you go to the next level. Uh, the second game is a stake and uh, stake and play based game. There's a faucet from where you can like take the tokens, and then you have to stake those tokens. So here I'm staking 10 dungeon tokens to fire a transaction to MetaMask. It'll ask me to stake 10 dungeon tokens in order to play the game. And there is a gameplay contract which keeps track of how many uh, rewards you've already collected. And in this we have developed an AI which basically keeps track of the position of the player and comes to attack and the player also has an XP score and the more uh, the more the more uh, chests you collect uh, it, it basically keeps track of each and everything and then uh, when you collect the last chest you get a stake of 20 uh, uh, 20 dungeon tokens if you lose then you lose your uh, 10 dungeon token stake that you previously deposited we also designed like three maps for this one is based in a tropical region this one is based in a tundra region and the other one is based in like uh, uh in the dungeons so uh, let me show the other ones as well I think there's something wrong here. Uh, so I'm not able to show the other levels, but we had three levels that we have developed. And apart from this, we have also made a marketplace wherein we can mint warriors. The broad idea is to connect this with the game local storage, wherein you'll have specific set of characters, and then you'll be able to buy and equip uh, characters in the in the longer run. So um, yeah, so the, the marketplace has two contract. One is the NFT token contract, and one is the marketplace contract. So I'm deploying a NFT to the marketplace. So first we create a token. After creating the token, uh, we uh, we create the market item and it gets listed on the marketplace and then other users they can log in uh, using their wallets and 
they can basically uh, buy they can basically buy that particular nft so so what are the uh, usage for the nft like is it going to be showing up in the game or Yeah, so these are the uh, previously, uh, these were some of the previously generated NFTs that we had, uh, which are uh, saved in the contract. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, these were some of the uh, previous ones which I have mentored already. And so, how do you users the use and uh, then you can buy those particular? How do the users uh, use these NFTs in the game? So coming on the point, uh, how does the user uses these NFTs? Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, these NFTs will act as an avatar and warriors inside the games. Okay. So if you have the Warrior King NFT, and if this is the official NFT by the platform itself, then mm -hmm. you will be, and if you own one of the Warrior Kings, then you will be able to use this character uh, inside the game itself. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> so these are, because uh, yeah. initially when I saw the main page, users seem to be able to upload the uh, files. But this is actually more like official, like avatars that can be used yeah, in the. Exactly. Okay. So, so we would like to in future like this is the uh, initial version of the marketplace wherein we are enabling the users to create their own characters, mm -hmm. uh, giving them uh, more uh, what do you say ownership of the platform itself. Mm -hmm. And if the uh, player uploads a character and is approved by the ecosystem, mm -hmm. then it uh, after the voting then it will be approved and added to the platform as a warrior. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah, and what we are developing in the longer run, like, uh, so this was a game. So we are looking uh, to develop synthetic tokens. We had a conversation with the team and uh, like we like the idea and we would like to use uh, the meter bridge like to bridge our tokens from like one ecosystem to uh, another. So currently we started out building on Celo. So we are building a market, uh, a metaverse, which would like connect different protocols and different blockchains together, and it would have interoperable assets. So what we, uh, we what we were developing is on Celo, and like we are working with designers to create uh, buildings and create experiences in 2D, like for each and every ecosystem. And basically, we are trying to uh, get different protocols building uh, building on those ecosystems inside the metaverse. So uh, people, a novice user can come and basically learn about DeFi uh, through a gamified experience or NFTs through a gamified experience. And basically they can own and they can like uh, prosper out of uh, using the platform. So- Yeah, actually uh, uh, our bridge for Salo will be up soon because uh, <clears throat> Chief Finance also is launching on both uh, Salo and uh, Meter. So we will actually have a bridge helping them uh, doing the transfer. So yeah, since well. our metaverse is going to be on multiple chains, so mm -hmm. we want uh, the e ecosystem. So like once it is for uh, OSS, once it is for VeChain, once it is for Celo. So mm -hmm. we want all the assets not to be like uh, held on in the single uh, chain itself. So if you have a warrior in Celo chain and you want to bridge it to uh, Peter chain or OSS chain, then you should be able to do that seamlessly. Yeah, that sounds great. <clears throat> Actually, since we, uh, do you guys have more for the demo? Oh, I presented my three projects. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking if you have extra time, maybe you can uh, talk a little bit about your team, things like that. Yes, sure. So, uh, uh, me and Elio, uh, both are college friends. Uh, both are uh, completing our graduation in next two days from India. And we started building on, uh, we started learning blockchains. Uh, last year is uh, Chainlink is Spring Hack. And uh, there we started to learn about blockchain and we had started to explore other ecosystems. And then we got opportunities from Celo India Fellowship. And then we uh, got opportunity from Celo Camp Accelerator, and then we went ahead and we ideated so, more. Of so the... we were one of the top six. We were one of the top six teams for the accelerator, and we presented mm -hmm. during the demo day. And uh, after that, uh, we went to the Celo Connect conference, wherein like we met founders just like us. 
uh, working on building in Web3. And uh, our team is basically based in India, in Indonesia, in the US. We have designers working from Philippines and Malaysia. And we also have Phaser game devs. But currently, uh, as Phaser is not so optimized for mobile phones, we are uh, switching the entire game with the same idea, uh, but with Unity. So uh, yeah, that's about our team. Cool, yeah. <clears throat> So let me see if uh, there's any question from the YouTube channel. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, that's uh, all the questions we have for now. Thanks a lot uh, for giving us a demo. It looks uh, really cool. And uh, we'll love to see you guys uh, deploy on here. Please uh, do not hesitate to let us know if there's anything we can help. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> The next team is joining. <coughs> there seems to be some yeah. connection issue. It should be, yeah, should be cleared out with. Uh... Yeah, his status is like in joining, <clears throat> it has been like that for the last one minute. Yeah, let, let me poke him to see if everything is fine. Hello? Hi, Aditya. Can you hear us? Hi, Aditya, can you hear us? Yeah, he may have some connection issues. Yeah.
I also don't see the the following one online, so maybe we have to do a short break. You are yeah. muted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe yeah, we do like a short break. Yeah. I will uh, reach out to both uh, and see if uh, there is any issue or something like that. Sure. Yeah. Hello? I will get uh, away for like uh, some minutes and uh, try to reach out to them and sure. uh, let's see. Hi, Mano. Are you the next uh, presenter? <clears throat> uh, I cannot hear you. You probably have to. Hello, can you hear me? I think you are on mute. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Fine. So are you the next presenter? Um, I'm not sure if I'm next. I know that we were, our time start was at two o'clock, um, Eastern time. Um, so that's like a little bit from now, but I mean, I'm able to present if that's, if that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Cause the, the presenter actually has some connector issues. So feel okay. free to start. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Alrighty. So. My name is Emmanuel Apia. 
Um, I represent GeoSwap.Finance, <clears throat> which is a, it's a stable, stable coin uh, platform uh, mm -hmm. for, trade, for trading uh, pegged peg crypto assets in uh, stable coin as well. There's uh, a bridge that we're currently working on that's uh, still, it's still in testing the integration phase right now um, in terms of the bridge, but the swap side is done. Hang on, let me see here. I normally don't use Zoom, so I guess I'm gonna have to give me a second here. Sorry about no that. No problem, no problem. There's a, like a share screen at the bottom of the uh, video. Okay, just a second here. <clears throat> By the way, which uh, call base did you use uh, to fork? For the and which, um, so our, our the, the stable stock is based on uh, curves implement, implementation and solidity. Um, did you fork for many existing like swap projects? Yes. So there's uh the 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 um the uh the 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 swap bit the swap the swap is based on uh on uh what's it called uh synapses and uh curves implementation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um yeah, but most most of the uh we, we made a few changes as well. Um mm -hmm. We added a four pole. I'm not sure if uh, Snapsys has a four pole, but we have a four pole uh, as well as a three pole. Currently working on the East pole as well as a BTC pole. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're currently on, on testnet. Uh, we also have a bridge that we're implementing uh, that we're working on still. Uh, the, the contracts are done, but the front end still has to be integrated. Um, currently working on that now. Just a second here. Just my friends. Okay, share screen. Okay, there. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our main page. Uh, we, we set up uh, the documentation as well, mm -hmm. which has um, some of our forecasts and our roadmap and what we completed so far and what we're working on. Um, so you, as you can see, We've got on for the test net, we got um stable swap, got three pole, four pole, and BTC pool. Um let's head over here, start trading. Okay, so there we are. Switch the network. So as you can see, it's a multi-chain um mm -hmm. stable swap. <clears throat> So essentially, this is it. Um, currently, you have the four pull and the three pull in. Mm -hmm. Users are able to deposit liquidity. Um, let me see here. So, yeah, users are able to deposit the liquidity. Let me just do a quick test so you can see. Uh, deposit. So the percentage of each uh, token is uh, like uh, predetermined. No, it's not pre. No, it's not predetermined. Um, so I just I just copied and pasted it. So you you can you can uh, you can input any amount that you want, any mm -hmm. amount that you have that you want to deposit. You yeah you're able to do so. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's say for example, uh, I want to add this five thousand. But usually when you when you when, when you do this, you want to make sure that you know um we it's 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 not it's not it's not uh something that has to be done, but mm -hmm. it's just for test pur purposes, uh, because we don't want we, we don't want the pool to be unbalanced as of yet, right? Um so just for test pur purposes, I'm using the same the same amount. Um yeah, so from transaction. So, um, does the does the pool use any bounding curves? Because typically, like the, the bounding curve, uh, like let's say curve, mm. they have uh, some predetermined uh, like per percentage for each uh, target percentage for yes. each coin, right? And then, uh, like if it deviates, then the exchange rate uh, will change as well. So, how does it work here if uh, there's no predetermined percentage? Well, the so there's there's um there's a uh, there's the a parameter which uh -huh. which right which is set depending on uh where we want the uh the balance and the imbalance to uh to, to fluctuate, mm -hmm. but um 
for the most part, uh, like, obviously there's going to be you know, some room from arbitrage for, for users that, you know, do arbitrage kind of balance the pull out. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. One sec here. So swap. Okay. So deposit functions properly, as you can see. Let's see here. Uh, okay so um here it's not it's not properly uh configured yet but essentially when user deposit the user makes a deposit um they're able to earn uh uh int obviously interest on the amount they deposited uh in in regards to the, the amount of volume or trades that happens on the on the platform Mm -hmm. And um, users are also able to earn geo tokens once that's deployed. Uh, we, 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 don't, uh, we don't plan on um, issuing a token right away when we do launch a mainnet. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that we're going to kind of gradually get into. Um, mm -hmm. Just issuing a token, you know, kind of creates value. So we're going to make sure you have some traction first and figure out how we're going to implement the governance token. So we, we are going to have a voting system as well. Uh, that, mm -hmm. that's, that's what the geo token is for. Uh, so yeah, so users can earn APY on the, the the amount of trades that happen on the on, on the platform as well as geo tokens. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that. You can obviously withdraw or stake. You can you know, stake in your tokens allows you to earn geo tokens, right? Mm -hmm. So just just by depositing your 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 stablecoin, each trade that happens, you know, you'll see here that the more trades that do happen, that your bonus will go up. So the bonus is essentially the amount of, uh, 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 um, the amount of interest that you earn on your stable coins once you deposit it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and- uh, So that's so, basically uh, all from the transaction fees, right? Right now. Pardon? Uh, currently it's all from the transaction fees. Correct, in correct. the future, there will be geo token rewards. Correct, yeah. exactly. So currently it's, <laughs> Users can earn interest just basically based on the transactions that happen on the on the platform. So yeah, transaction fee model, correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. So swap. Um, you just can swap tokens. I can see the slippage. You can change the slippage here. Let me just. It's as you can see, as defaulted to uh, zero point one, but you can bring it down a little bit. Depend on how much uh, liquidity is in the pool, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Swap. How did you implement the TX deadline? Right. Uh, so you have a TX deadline as well. Like how did you implement it? <coughs> so, so there's a deadline. Um, so that's 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 on a contract side. So there's a de there's a deadline as you can see, 20, 20 minutes, forty minutes. Oh, um, you're on your swap contract. You have a deadline. Correct. Um, yeah, you can see all, 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 all the source codes is open source. It's, it's on the GitHub. Yeah, let me mm -hmm. double check here. Um, if we go to uh, github.com slash geoswap, you see uh, most of our source codes on there. Got it. Um, <clears throat> and it's all open source. So so essentially, here, let me, let me just, um, I do, I, I should have had this set up. I mean, it shouldn't take long. I could set it up quickly here, just a second, so we can see that uh, deposit, deposit and stake will work eventually, because I do have a, I did deploy the geo token, the geo governance token, I did deploy it on meter, so it is actually currently on there, so we could test it out, just a second, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, so when you head to github.com slash geoswap, you'll see at the um, deploy contracts uh, right here. So meter chain, we have the geo contract here. So let me just do this quickly. And we actually left out, um, we left the, the private the, the private keys you can import if you want to do further testing with the, with the platform, you can just import that to have access to our test net tokens. Mm -hmm. um, let me just go here, okay. So we want to, we want to do essentially, 
your access. Let's do this quick. Uh, control API. Yeah, sorry guys, like, as you can see, I'm kind of not exactly ready because I thought it was two o'clock that we were supposed to be on, but yeah, just give me a second, I'm almost No done. problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're supposed uh, to like, present a little bit later, not right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's so slow. You have more time now. <laughs> yeah. Correct. So let's just do this. Okay, so I just enabled the transfer for uh, geo tokens because essentially, initially when 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 the contract is deployed, um, it has there's no there's no tra it's not transferable initially until until right. we, we do set it. Um, okay, so that's done. Okay, so let's see here. Let me just double check. Let's go back here. All right, so now it's transferable. What we want to do is okay. One second. Uh, so this is a mini. So this is a mini. This is a mini chef um, contract for distributing geo token, depending on the amount of uh, stake that the user has. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you're also planning to have a uh, like a volume based. <clears throat> yeah. So we 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 yeah exactly as a volume based API as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we obviously we do some calculation in the front end. As, as of now, you won't be you won't see like the APY and the twenty four hour volume, but we do have we do have that already. Um, all the calculations done. This mm -hmm. you just have to deploy it on onto GitHub, and it does it like uh, um, every so often. We just pull all the records and update the APY and the twenty four hour volume. Um, but like uh, if it's a sushi type of contract, it's like have a fixed emission rate. For the for, for the yes for the for, for the for the for the for the for the for the chef for the chef contract correct yes it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like a sushi swap type of contract just um it's a little bit I guess there's, there, there are some differences um let me just double here yeah so we 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 also we also we also look into implement which we we do have so we also have a we do have a sushi fork as well that we're gonna add just just mm -hmm. for volatile tokens. Um, so users can users can also trade um, just any 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 token on the. Oh, you mean like uh, you have a like a both a stable pool and unstable pool essentially. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just just why not, right? Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we just see in the ass. But our, our main objective is a, is is, a, is the bridge, right? That's that's our main focus. That's that's. It's, it's like I said, it's still it's still in the works. Um, yes, yeah, uh, my friend, our friend on developers is working on the front end as well right now. But smart contracts is done. Working on SDK as well for that. But that's the that's the main the main difference. Um, um, that that we that's different between us and her, right? Uh, we actually actually adding a bridge to multiple chains. So how does your bridge work? Well, so initially we we initially we were working on the DCRM implementation, kind of like multi chain did, and then we kind of stepped back and uh, I know Snaps is so basically 
algorithm implementation is based on the same same as as as, as synapses. So there's there's gonna be uh, for example um, uh, user calls a contract on one chain, a message gets sent out to the other chain that has that has a uh, uh, um, that that has the right to mint tokens. The, mm -hmm. The certain token that, that that that's implemented on the other chain, um, and pretty much it's all it's, it's all done through smart contracts uh, technically. So you just call call the contract, and then the contract is saying the click note to the other chain. And the chain means and the chain means uh, the, the, the the token for the user on that on the destination chain, and vice versa, right? Um, yeah. So it's all done based. It's it's all it's, it's all done based on smart contracts. Got it. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, really chef. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to do here. Uh, enable the. Right. So right now, for example, the swap. Can you actually like uh, swap with an, uh, the pool of another chain, or like uh, you have right. to cool. basically bridge the token over and swap over there in whatever right. pool you deploy over there. Yeah, so currently you're not able to swap cross chain, mm -hmm. but eventually you be eventually you will be able to once we finish the bridge and the SDK, will be, you'll be able to pretty much swap cross chain. So for, mm -hmm. for example, if we have a desk, if, if you're swapping DAI, um, for instance, you want to swap DAI for USDT on the on on uh, for, swap DAI from a source chain mm -hmm. to USDT on the on on the destination chain, you'll be able to do that cross chain once the once the bridge is once the bridge is uh, completed. Yeah. But currently, no. Currently, it's, this is just on per 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 uh, each per chain right now. Got it. Okay. So, right. Um. Okay. Badge harvest set. Okay. So PID one. Okay. Reward. Submit. Okay. So you'll see that. Okay, so let's see here. Do we have any stake, deposit, stake? Okay, so this is staken. Okay, so we have a stake and stake all as well on our stake. Um, so let me see here, right? Set. Yeah, as you can see, so now you, you as you can see, this has been staked. Yeah, there's a reward well. there, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. let me just take the reward here, true. Um, for three pool, okay, we'll just allocate, I guess, for three pool, we'll allocate maybe uh, after that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so this has been sticking for a while. So, for the four pool, you can claim your rewards. Um, once the rewards show up, once the geo rewards, once that's implemented, you'll be able to claim your rewards. Confirm. Yeah, that's claim now. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, claim was done successfully. Transfer it to the destination. Yeah. Okay. So let's go yeah, back cool. here. Um, yeah. And as you can see, you can also stake here. Um, unstake. Just mm -hmm. confirm that. Unstake. I shall properly confirm. Um, yeah. You can also claim three pull as well. It's ready to claim. As you, as you know, this was already staked. That's why the amount. Um, but it is uh it is a constant and it, it could be changed. So there's 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 uh tokens distributed per second. So geo tokens will be distributed. This is this amount of geo tokens that's distributed per second. So that value is obviously changeable, um interchangeable. Um I'm not sure what 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 the amount is gonna be yet, but just to get an idea, um currently geo per second is uh I think 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 
token per second currently. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, bridge coming soon. So yeah, essentially right now what we have this function is the pools function is you'll be able to swap as well. Once we implement Geo, you'll be able to claim rewards. Um, transactions that, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what's uh, your launch plan look like? Uh, I mean, like, uh... so we're we're aiming for within within the next um within the next two months, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. We want to launch with the bridge implemented. Mm -hmm. um, that's 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 the actually point. like. Uh, why do you have to like wait for the bridge implementation? Because there are existing bridges you can leverage on. Right? That's true. That's true. Yeah. This is. It's not necessarily, yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's something that we haven't totally decided uh, on like yet. Maintaining a bridge is actually like a, a totally to different uh, thing than mm -hmm. running like a swap. Correct, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. so definitely that's something that we, we, we have haven't set in stone yet. Um, uh -huh. We're just building right now. Uh, that's yeah. what I mean, focus is just building and optimizing and trying to uh, improve what we have so far. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Actually, Doug, maybe you can also uh, like make a little bit intro about uh, your team. Yes. Well. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, Manuel, of course. Um, actually, I'm I'm CTO at Globex Inc., which is a software co company uh, in, in in Canada. Been working there for uh, for for a long time now, for, uh, about six years. So I'm based in Canada. Um, mm -hmm. um, I have two other uh, main devs. Uh, most, most so the first one is uh, Alfred. He's based in uh, Africa, Nigeria, and the other one is um, uh, Michael Quiner. He's based in Ghana, as well. Um, so for for me personally, I've 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 been into blockchain since 2016. Was was when I started actually working on uh, on blockchain protocols. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't start writing smart contracts until about maybe I think 2019 is when I started writing smart contracts. But I've been in the blockchain. I, I first heard about Bitcoin, I think 2000, uh, 2012 was when I first heard about Bitcoin. But at that time, I was obviously skeptical like anybody else, wasn't really sure about how the technology would work. But as, as you know, right now, I'm in love with blockchain and I couldn't find myself doing anything else, but it's not right now. Um, but yeah, so there's three main devs. And we have a we have a marketing team as well. Uh, mm -hmm. so there's there's Tareem. Um, she's got a uh, she, she's got a bachelor in computer science as well, but she's she's mainly focusing on our marketing right now. Um, and there's Fahad as well. So there's 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 other other non core uh, um, non 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 core team team members that are just derived from the community. So we have Fahad, we have Tareem, which is part of the marketing core team. And then we have some designers from just the community, we, a small community yeah. so far, just in terms of marketing um, and uh, 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 designing um, and just social media, market, uh, social media, social media, I guess. Uh, Got it. Posts. So what made you uh, like decided to work on like uh, the Hero as well? There are different types of like, DeFi applications, right? What made you passionate about uh, building this uh, swap type of uh, application? Yeah, I just found that. So there, there's, there's a lot of, um, as you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, CPMMs out there, like you know, you know, swaps and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I just didn't find that there was a lot of um, stable swaps covering different chains apart mm -hmm. from the, the, the main, you know, BNB and Ethereum. One, I just found that there wasn't a lot of you know, stable swaps that are covering those those new chains, if you, mm -hmm. if you want to call it, right? Um, so I just saw an opportunity there, uh, and just thought I would take advantage of that and just kind of bring you know something that that's that's useful for, for the you know, from the user's perspective, mm -hmm. and in, in terms of having something you know with uh with with the, with the ability to you know provide mm -hmm. low fees, you know low low slippage, obviously. Um, so yeah, basically just bringing bringing stable swap to the chains that 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 currently don't have the you know the the what's called the, the this type of application on there right got it got it yeah yeah actually on meter um right now we have like a busd usdc and usdt but mm -hmm. like uh, the the ball swap only have like uh the uniswap v2 type of 
uh, swapping capability. So it's actually quite inefficient uh, in terms of uh, swapping like Same bit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, you can like use uh, the meter password uh, for bridge uh, solution uh, when you launch a meter. Oh, okay. Yeah, because cool. I mean it's uh, like similar type, like, and also like uh, we have, uh, uh, yeah, like cross chain messaging as well. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Great. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we'd love to see you guys uh, launch a meter, and uh, yeah, let us know uh, if there's anything we could do to help you guys. Uh, uh, for example, I think uh, at some point you probably do you think you would need a, like a graph for like swapping info type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. So we we plan on. So I know I noticed that uh, meter that is, doesn't it, graph currently doesn't doesn't support meter yet. Um, we actually I, are running like a graph node. Node. Okay. Uh, yeah, you so can actually perfect. deploy to our mainnet and testnet the graph node. Okay, perfect. That's good. So yeah, we'll definitely need that because most of our APY calculation is based on that. Oh, your APY calculation is based on that. It's based on that, yes. Yeah. So we'll definitely <laughs> need that. Um, yeah, we're, we're just going to run our own node, but since you guys have run, that's that's perfect. That kind of makes life a lot easier. So I definitely um, will message you guys in, in, in terms, again, that deployed on there, and then, yeah, we'll have it ready ready to go because we have all the calculations that we just need to. Yeah, most, mm -hmm. most of the calculations are based on the graph, so we're definitely going to need that, yes. Got it. Yeah, I mean, any like uh, help uh, needed from us. Uh, yeah, and also like uh, we would love to see more swaps uh, like on meter, especially like these type of unique swaps that support like like similar type of coins. Because uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sumer, we have a synthetic asset platform that will generate like synthetic uh, stable coin. Oh, cool! Yeah, ETH and BTC. So that will be like great uh, to have these type of multi pool. Uh, running and to to collaborate. Yeah, that'd be nice. We can implement a virtual swap for that. That'd, that'd be really nice. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot uh, for your time. And uh, Thank you. yeah, appreciate the demo. No problem. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. I guess I will pause the recording for a little bit.
Hello. Hello, Rajit. Can you, uh, Rajit? Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, uh, Rajat, can you hear me? Hi, I can hear you. Okay, great. Uh, which project uh, are you working on? So we are working on DNFT. Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe uh, you can get uh, started. Uh, let me just uh, restart the video. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Sure. Okay, so you can see my screen, right? Yes, I can see it, yeah. Okay, so we are Team Surti. We built a DNFT. So uh, uh, first we will uh, overview the project. So we have uh, our native NFT mentor. So currently it's uh, not uh, limited. So uh, anyone can uh, mint the NFT. So after that, we have a marketplace to buy and sell the NFTs. After that, <clears throat> we have a lending and borrowing feature. So- Oh, you have lending and borrowing features. How do you decide on the price and using the floor price? Yeah, so anyone who want to lend the NFT, so they can decide the uh, collateral price that uh, borrower needs to put. Oh, okay. And, and the interest amount, for the time the lender decide. So these will be like individual offers. Yeah. That's great, yeah. Okay, after that we have a fractionalized NFP is, uh, uh, let me change my wallet. So yeah, here I have one uh, uh, NFT. So I can mm -hmm. fractionalize this NFT also with the, ERC20. Mm -hmm. So I need to give a token name and symbol and total supply of it and the uh, initial list price against that uh, total supply. Got it, got it. And then that particular NFT will be uh, fractionalized uh, through like ERC20 token. Yeah. So yeah, after that we have a uh, buy crypto functionality. So for oh, that cool. we use mm -hmm. the uh, transact API. Got it. So right now you only support Ethereum network, right? For the uh, buy crypto. Sorry. So for buy crypto, you only support the Ethereum network uh, for now, right? I can imagine. Okay. So yeah. how about? Few questions regarding to the marketplace. One is uh, like, uh, we have actually two tokens, the MTR token and the MTRG token. So yeah. will you be able to support the MTRG token for like purchasing and listing, things like that? Yeah, currently we are supporting only the, we are supporting uh, many networks. So we are currently using that native currency only. Uh -huh. So in future we will, uh, and uh, multiple crypto. Yeah, so actually that's one of the major uh, 
uh, demand from the community. One of the major yeah. demand because some of the uh, tokens, uh, the, the NFTs, uh, each uh, minted uh, with NTRG, and like people want to see uh, like multiple collections uh, uh, NFT marketplace. Right now, like for example, do you support the multiple collections or only your own collections for now? So currently, it's uh, only we have added only that uh, DNFT collection. Got it. But uh, <clears throat> smart country, smart contract already like uh, added uh, multiple collections supported uh, supports uh, multiple uh, collections. Got it. So admin needs to add a collection of uh, any NFT collection. Yeah. Address, so address. for for multiple collections and also like uh, the NFTs in the user wallet. Actually, our like Explorer has an API that uh, will give you all the ERC721 and ERC115 uh, tokens in a user's uh, address. So you can actually just use those APIs directly on the meter network to get the tokens. Okay. And you don't have to run the backend. Yeah, that will be great. So I'll use it. So. Uh... We are uh, uh, planning uh, many future works. Mm -hmm. Like uh, currently, we are fractionalizing only NFTs. So we are planning to add this liquidity to like a world swap mm -hmm. and uh, the ERC20 uh, so that we can make uh, ERC20 like uh, exchangeable. After that, we are uh, planning to do on that lending and borrowing that fractionalized NFTs. Yeah, actually, like for example, fractionalized NFT. One of the issues is the liquidity, right? Do you have any ideas of uh, how to create the liquidity for these uh, fractionalized let, NFTs? Yeah, let me show you the demo. So uh -huh. currently, is uh, I'll fractionalize this NFT. Mm -hmm. We will give this uh, ten thousand supply. Mm -hmm. I guess 10,000 MTR token. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So first it took uh, approval. Okay. Okay, so that NFT now uh, fractionalized. So it's, uh, it is uh, in the 10,000 parts of FR2. Got it. So currently we have only that, uh, we, uh, we only did a functionality like send uh, these fractions. Like we have 10,000, I want to send 1,000 to another account. Okay. So I'm planning to like, uh, we are, uh, we will add a functionality like add liquidity. If user uh, wants to uh, add liquidity, like uh, 10,000 uh, uh, token and uh, against uh, 1,000 uh, or 10,000 MTR token. Mm -hmm. User uh, will enter and- uh, So the owner will have to basically figure out ways to create the liquidity um, on a spot or something, right? So that, uh, uh, so that uh, its uh, use case will be more. Mm -hmm. So that is our intention. Yeah, I mean, like with ERC twenty, you can like do staking, do other things uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Lending and borrowing mm -hmm. can be a fun, and uh, if user wants to uh, do a Dutch auction <clears throat> or airdrop on this. Uh, Fractionalized uh, parts. Yeah. So we right. will integrate it.
currently ui is not great that is our uh, priority to give a better user experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right if you want uh, any functionality demo uh, you can i can be yeah i mean like uh, i understand uh, all the all the features now yeah oh, oh thank you uh since we still have a little bit of time left maybe you can uh, make a quick intro about yourself or your team sorry uh, maybe you can do a self introduction about yourself or okay, like, uh, your yeah, team yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, myself is at Benadia, and uh, I'm uh, in this space over like over a year. So before that, uh, I'm a front-end engineer and working mm -hmm. on the PXJS. So after that, I got to know about this blockchain space, and uh, I deep dive into it. And uh, currently, I'm. Uh, most of the time I'm doing the audit on Code Arena. And in the part time I'm doing the hackathon and uh, working on the ideas everything. So Sorry. yeah. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, that's uh, all the questions uh, for me. Uh, thanks a lot for participating in the hackathon. Yeah, I'd love to see your marketplace uh, like uh, to be further developed and uh, deployed on meter. Like uh, I mentioned, uh, one of the uh, uh, most uh, like uh, demanded features are, one is to support the uh, MTRG as uh, one of the uh, trading currencies. As I believe like any ERC20 tokens, uh, that will be the best. And the other one is uh, to have like multiple collections uh, and <coughs> basically, <laughs> display uh, all the users' uh, wallet holdings. Yeah, if you have those two features added, uh, I think uh, there will be a lot of users uh, want to use it uh, yeah. on, on the meter network. Sure, sure. I'll note it down and uh, mm -hmm. we'll add it. Yeah, let us know if uh, there is any way we could uh, help in, uh, for example, providing uh, APIs for infrastructures and things like that. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, great. Yeah, thanks a lot for your time. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, talk soon. Bye. Bye.